Hello everyone. If you're new here, I am Abel and so are you. I have here today a Vito Pro Pack Tech XL. This is a big boy. Um, it's a very large bag and um, I can tell you right off the rip that if you fill this bag up, it's going to be too heavy to uh, carry around. Um, you need a cart or something to put this on, or maybe a little trolley, little truck trolley to wheel it around on. Um, but that's the only downside to this bag. A lot of you guys know about these bags. They're durable. This is a lifetime bag for me because it gets light use and uh, it's just bulletproof. It's armor proof, man. This thing is tough. Uh, so here at the bottom, it's got some type of uh, plastic or some type of hard plastic for the bottom so that you don't get any leaks coming up from the bottom if you set this in a puddle or set it in some wet grass. You not you don't have to worry about water penetrating through the bottom and getting into your bag. Uh, then you have some nice pockets. It has a, a bunch of pockets. Um, so let's just go through this a little bit and look at a few tools I got in here. And uh, um, I'll go through some in the bag as I'm going through the tools. So right here, right on the front, I got here on the quick, the quick draw, D rings all over the place, different sizes. I keep out here some. Uh, this here, you know, I use for furnaces, cleaning off uh, sensors. Um, then I got a couple of bits here uh, that I just keep on here, and. Um, some of these are good bits. Some of these are not so good because I, I am a little afraid of these falling out. And so, you know, but they're, they're holding up pretty good so far. Here is a, a diagonal um, DeWalt. I don't know if I could uh, yeah, pull that out. You see that? And so that'll go at an angle. It's got the little ball detent there. And uh, this has a very strong magnet on the end of it. On the package, it said that. And I didn't think nothing of it. I thought I could pull this out with my hand, but I couldn't. I could not pull this out with my hand. And so I had to get pliers to if I wanted to switch the tip on that. And so that's pretty cool. I like I like the strong magnet. I wish they would put it on uh, all of their bits. Do all. I wish you would. But yeah. Quick draw over here, same thing. Got some Ryobi uh, beaters just in case they fall off, you know. Um, here's a DeWalt. This magnet is kind of strong, but it's not as strong as that one. I can take that out with my hand. Um, here's some more little nut drivers. Just stuff on the quick draw. Here are these uh, ANSI. These, these gloves are... A little bit better than the cut level ones, Milwaukee's. You know, I like to keep a lot of gloves around. He's got some padding on the, some rubber padding on the knuckles and up here on the knuckles. Um, I like these, you know, I'm a bit of a prima donna. I like wearing gloves uh, so I don't cut up my hands. Cause you know, you cut up your hands, you know, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to work. Uh, these here are ponies. These are pretty good, very strong. Um, I use those because I do most of what I do alone. So I need that extra hand to hold stuff while I do whatever. So those are nice, I like those. Um, let's check this pocket here. Here I have a little torch that I picked up at a dollar store. And I used to use this for um, shrink, uh, shrink wrapping. Uh, but I don't use this anymore. I bought a, a heat gun uh, because sometimes with these 
these flames, if you don't hit it just right, you might overdo it and then mess up your shrink wrap. I did that once and I, I didn't like that after I did that once. So I just went ahead and got a heat gun. Uh, this is some really good Loctite super glue. Really nice, man. Um, really strong. I saw a guy on YouTube did a life hack. He mixed this with baking soda. And man, that stuff was hard as a rock. So I would suggest if you do use this, make sure it's, you know, make sure you want to use this because it definitely is permanent. Um, what else I got down in here? Uh, just got some batteries and then some, some gloves. You know, guys, I like to use different types of gloves. You know, if you got something delicate that you need to, you got little small baby screws, but what you're working on is kind of dirty. You can use these to, uh, eradicate the dirt. And if you working with little small screws, you can still deal with that as well. Here I got a little GI, a GFI tester. You know, even though you turn the power off, you can put this in the in the outlet to see if you still got power running through there or if it's set up wrong. It feels different. If it's set up wrong, you can kind of sort that out as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all in there. And then, uh, let's see. I don't know. I'll probably, uh, no, let me not. Sorry about that, guys. Let me go ahead and do the sides real quick. Here, uh, got a hammer. Oh, can't get it out. This is a nice 16 ounce snub nose. Got some uh, nail pullers there. This is a rip claw. Uh, nice handle on it. Uh, electricians, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you use something like this. Maybe fiberglass or wooden uh, hammers, because these are conductive and they will let electricity uh, go through them. In here, we got some Teflon tape, regular yellow and black electrical tape. This is some Gorilla duct tape. This is some really good stuff, guys. You should pick this up whenever you see it. Um, I think I got mine at Walmart, but you can get these anywhere. Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, some Inkzall marker, markers. That's all those are. And then, uh, oh yeah. Like you say, the D-rings. And then on this side, let's see if I could get in here. I got uh, a little sniffer. Uh, it's okay. Um, it's commercial electric, so, you know. A little battery indicator. It's okay. I use it once or twice. It It works. You know, we ain't supposed to depend on those guys. Here's the ceramic uh, tweezers. I use these for heat. Yeah, these are these are really good for heat. Ceramic. Yep. Uh, a little tape measure. I keep this one on here because it's black. <laughs> that's all. And that's got a nice... Uh, a nice tape measuring uh, hook there. Another D-ring you could put something on. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see if we can get this back right. Okay. All right, guys. Let's try to go on inside. And I'll say the zippers. Uh -oh. The zippers. The... Um, that's pretty much the only movable part on this bag. And so you guys need to keep, you, you can buy some zipper, uh, not glue, zipper uh, lubricant to go on these zippers. And you want to lubricate these zippers every once in a blue moon so that they stay nice and silky. Because if they start getting hung up, that's where you might get, you, you're going to increase your chance for breaking the zipper. And once you break the zipper, you know, that's when you're going to have to use your warranty. Or if you're outside of five years on the warranty, then you might have to, uh, you know, 
somehow jimmy rig it to where it'll stay closed but that's the only movable part uh let's see if we had something in here i don't know if i did uh i think i just got some sticky notes in here yeah just in case i need to write something down put these down oh sorry about that guys all right so we got a bunch of little stuff in here so here i keep these around these are um thermometers for hvac purposes refrigeration purposes sometimes you need a couple you know to measure uh your intakes outtakes things like that now here's a klein this is a uh magnetizer and demagnetizer those are cool to keep around d-ring up here on the top there's a zipper here and this pocket runs all the way across but it only goes down to about here so it runs across and so i keep in here stuff that i, I don't mind being flat like um this, these kind of things these are my um what i use to uh Oh, guys, you know, shrink, shrink wrap, stuff like that. I keep that in there. Different colors, different sizes. And then down here, this goes to my heat gun. I'll show you that later. And then here, blades. I want to keep blades around because I do tear them up. And I'm sure I got something down in here. Oh, no, I don't. Here, I just got some random bits, Ryobi. This one here is uh, Apex, made by Crescent. And, you know, sometimes if you're getting into delicate spots, uh, you want to have that nice um, plastic around so you don't mess up the hardware that's surrounding the hardware that you're, you know, you're working with. That's pretty cool. Keep those around just in case I'm working on some furniture or something. And then just regular old bits, you know, little swivel bits, just a little, you know, for these little bitty pockets. I keep stuff like that in there. Yeah, let's go back over. Let's try to be systematic about this so I don't miss anything. Just regular needle nose pliers here. Guys, I use these for uh, the little rings, the little O-rings. And um, if you can see that and make that out, they're nice and round. The one thing I hate is using a, a slotted screwdriver to get an O-ring out. Because, you know, if you cut it or, or do anything to that, uh, to damage it, scratch it, or you can't use that O-ring. It's over for that O-ring. So you need to have something like this to get those O-rings off. And if they're not dried out or anything, you can just, you know, kind of lube them up and put them right back on. Uh, WD-40 speaks for itself, million and one uses. Gotta have that around. Uh, back here in the back. This here is a, uh, what is this from? This is a tough build. This is a cool little blade now. You can use it like that as a scraper or a cutter. Scraper or a cutter. I like that. So that's pretty cool. And then on the bottom here, you got a, a paint can opener. So a lot of maybe a lot of paint guys or guys doing rehabs on houses or buildings. This would come in handy, but I liked it and it's come in handy for me a few times. Here's Vera. Slot it. You see how they got those trademark uh, striations in there? These are good. Hardened tips. I like them. Handle. Ergonomic. You know, the bigger they are, the, the more that they are a little uncomfortable. The bigger but the smaller they are, the more comfortable they are. Here, got a little bit smaller one. And this is, this is almost right perfect. A little smaller one. What is this? Another slot it. And then I got a little baby. This is a little hand halter. 
I did a little video on this, so if you guys want to look at this a little closer, and I got a little uh, security bit in there, uh, and that's what I use this for because it's so small. I use this for very delicate things that I don't want to, I don't want to strip out or I don't want to hurt. So I use a small handle, and this is pretty cool. I like that. Here, got files, all different kind of files, and you know I use these files on. A lot of burners, uh, clean them up, bring them back to life. And I got all different kinds of sizes and that sort. Here I got, uh, these are zip ties. Keep those around, a little brass brush and a regular brush for dust, grime that I wanna dust off. Even these, sometimes I'll use that to dust things off, clean things up. All right, let's go over here. Right angle, DeWalt. This got me out of a couple of little tight squeezes that, that I was in. I don't use it often, but when I do, I'm glad I got it. And this thing is tough, it's durable. I like it, cool. Just a bunch of little, little sockets, keep those around. Uh, here I got a couple wrenches. You know, these are kind of like uh, your K nips, but a fraction of the cost. Irwin's. They do the job. Same, uh, same concept. You know, same concept. Cool. So I keep a smaller one and then a bigger one for any pipes that I may need to hold one down and torque on the other here guys keep your uh these are your goggles you want to keep these all over the place and always put them on and and guys you know if you're doing something that's going to take two or three minutes still put these on because that's when the stupid stuff happens is when you don't think it's going to happen and it's not going to take that long and you think you can do it like that. That's when something stupid happens. And like you say, guys, you only got two eyes. You got to take care of them. This here is a uh, heat gun I got off of Amazon. It wasn't that much. It was pretty cheap, but it works beautifully. And that's another another tip you can put on here. And I use this for my shrink wrap. And so I don't have to worry about a flame. And so this works a lot better. I can control it, the heat, a lot better than an open flame. I know some of you guys are professionals out there and you can use a flame. Ah, that ain't me. I wish it was, but it ain't. I already learned that. So <laughs> that's why I got that. Uh, and that's all it is there. Little rag, you know, clean up whatever. Down here. Got a little Pitchburg. I got these in a set. This is the quarter inch. And I put that little spinner on there for ease of use because most stuff I work on is small. So I can loosen and tighten really quickly and then I can torque on it. So this has come in handy on quite a few occasions. Here, a little metal pry bar. Keep the metal one. Sometimes I keep those other ones too that uh, those ones that won't damage little plastic ones. Oh, come on, man. Come out of there. You don't want to come out. So here, doesn't this look familiar? Looks like a looks like a Vera. A Vera. But it's cool. It's only this only costs like 25 bucks. The holster. It's just flim flimsy plastic. It will break. That's why I would not wear this. But the hardware in here is sound. It's pretty good. See those little... It's got proprietary bits. Uh, oh, that may be a quarter inch. I don't know. But I don't use it that much, but I should. But it's got a little spinner on the top. This is a cool little thing. Now, if this was a Vera, you know it would be 60 70 bucks because it's not a complete set. Um... But yeah, 20 something bucks, I, I picked that up. Pretty cool. And here, guys, you know I bragged on these. These Crescent 
these crafts and knives. Cheap, but really nice. I like them. So I keep these all over the place. Here, got a little rip claw. Lennox. This is extremely sharp. And this is good for boxes or something that I just want to, you know, clip off, cut off. It's kind of light, but it's, it feels strong. Really nice. What else is in here? Let's see what, uh, yeah. You guys know what this is. All of us got one of these. And I've only tried this one time and it worked, but I'm sure it's going to break at some point. And that's okay. If it gets me out of a jam one or two times, I feel like it's paid for itself. That was about 12 bucks. I think I picked this up at Lowe's. Is it gimmicky? Eh. It's only a gimmick if you never use it. But if you use it and it works, then hey. All right, let's see here. Let's drop down. So down here you got little... So I keep these little silicone, silicon packets I get from different packages. Guys, don't throw these away. Put these in your bags. Put these in the bottom of your bags, and it will help absorb the moisture in your bags. And you know that moisture is kind of an enemy to your tools. That's what makes your tools rust up, especially if you're keeping them in your truck or your van. Keep these in your tool boxes, tool bags, and just throw them at the bottom so to help with the... Uh, with the moisture. This I picked up at uh, uh, Harbor Freight. A couple bucks. So it's got a light there, a light there. And uh, pretty cool. It's got some magnets here. It's got a little hook here. I would never use this hook because it's very plasticky, very, it will break. Um, but yeah, this is pretty, I think it got it for five dollars or something like that. Really good light. Yeah, I recommend them. Cool. Here's some security bits I picked up. Uh, I might have picked these up at, uh, I bought a couple of these, some from Harbor Freight, some from Walmart. Yeah, it's a little Craftsman case, but I got some DeWalt bits in there. I got a bunch of little stuff in there. It's not, you know, it's not it. Yeah, I got some DeWalt stuff in there. Mix and match stuff in here. Well, I keep that around. Yeah, more batteries. Because, you know, anytime I'm doing something for somebody, they always, you got some batteries? <laughs> you got some batteries for my remote control? Yeah, here you go. Or my thermostat, batteries down. You know about these guys. Keep these around. More silicon. Yeah. Let's, let's. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me because this is kind of a long video, I understand. But hopefully you're just sitting back and relaxing. Uh, and just looking at some tools. Okay, let's keep going. These are your cut level ones. That's what I was saying. These are probably your entry level gloves for Milwaukee. I like them. They're light. They're nice. Here is a um, first aid kit. I keep bandages in here, band-aids, gauze, um, just in case you cut yourself. You don't want to be leaking all over the place. You don't want to, or the guy next to you, you want to be able to help him if he cuts himself. Uh, D-rings. Uh -huh. There's your tech XL here. I got some uh, some little, uh, I don't know if you want to call these wire nuts or not, but these are from, uh, who are these from? Uh, Ideal. And uh, they're okay, but I had picked up some Wacos, and so I don't use these anymore. Uh, I use Wacos because of the lever. So... I mean, if I'm in a pinch and I run out of Wagos, I'll use those, but I don't use those. Here's some uh, jumper cables and some leads for 
a um, for a uh, tester that I got, a Klein tester that I got. And so, yeah. And so, let's go on inside. Those nice zippers. And so here, you see these two buttons here and these two here? This will fold down halfway if you're working. And then it's a button all the way down here. So you can even fold it down there if you want it and let it stay. So here, let's go around the top. Okay, a pocket with nothing in it. That is strange. I wonder if I had something in there and my buddy didn't put it back. All right, here's a stud buddy. These are pretty cool, straight to the point. This, you know, the nail that's in the stud, it'll go right to it. Uh, it's not gonna tell you about electrical wires in the wall, but when you wanna just find the stud, boom. And you wanna know where the next stud, boom. It, it, it works beautifully. Uh, and then here's just a little Ryobi. Um, what's the name? Same thing. Just keep these drivers in here in case I need something. Some smaller ones over here. Was that a Milwaukee? Just keep a bunch of little random ones. Okay, here. Empire. I like this, man, because it has a light to it. And my eyes appreciate that. And uh, yeah, Empire. Just hold it down and it goes out. Got some nice, uh, I don't know if these are neodymium magnets, earth magnets, but they're pretty strong. They work pretty good. And then here we got uh, some K nips. Uh, these are loose enough to work with. But they don't fall open. K-nips that don't fall open. I made a video on this and I did a little rant because they don't fall open. But they were kind of cheap. But still, K-nips. I like them. They're okay. Here is, uh, these are Craftsman's, as you can see. But don't they look like Vessel? I, you know, what do you think? Do they look, they're like identical to Vessel. And I'm guessing, I'm not saying for sure, but I'm guessing, you know, Craftsman may have said, hey, make us, make us X amount and we'll pay you. And Vessel branded them. Say here, I only got this for like seven bucks on Amazon. But if you get a Vessel one, it's probably a couple bucks more. But I like that ball that ball handle and I like those flat edges, these little flat edges where you can kind of use your thumb and index finger. And these are flippable. They come out. They come out and flip around. So I like that. Here. Got some vice grips. These are uh, your flush cutters. These are pretty good. I had these for years. Never let me down. This here is a ratcheting. If I can make it. I can't. Uh, I got one hand too, guys. Yeah, this is a ratcheting. This is an ideal as well with the um, the um, electrical um, nut tightener there. And uh, I did a video on this. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it's a, it's okay. If you want to see me rant on that, I made a video on that as well. Um, it was good enough for me to keep it instead of returning it. So here's another Vera. This is... Uh, see that tip? Yeah. See those striations on there? Good tip, works really well. And uh, this is a number two, and this is insulated. So I enjoy using that. Here's another uh, Craftsman, almost said Vessel. 
Uh, and this one here is flippable. But what's interesting about this, you see that? Yeah. That's a Posi. That's a Posi Phillips. Or not Posi Phillips, but it's a Posi. And so they use these in Japan, in Japan a lot. And so if you got a foreign car made in J made from Japan and it's here, you're going to appreciate that bit. Uh, so, you know, I like that Posi on here and I only paid $7 for it. Yeah. So I like that. Again, I like the grip. Again, this is another O-ring. Round it off a little shorter at an angle. Sometimes, you know, when you're getting old rings off, they might be in a little tough spot. And so you need a little articulation to to make it happen. And I picked these up at uh, Walmart. Walmart, I'm sorry. Um, Amazon. Another Vera. Yeah. These tips are nice, man. Now this is is right perfect for me. See how my fingers go in each groove and my thumb lays up there. That's some good purchase right there. That's some excellent purchase right there. So I can really torque on that. Got excellent control. This here is a seven in one. And uh, what it came with was this here and you'll see that some uh, sockets there that came with this, but I I repurposed the handle and put this uh, driver on here, this Milwaukee driver. I put that on with a locking collar on it. And so I can put anything on the end of this. And so this is a Klein handle with a uh, Milwaukee uh, extended locking bit holder. So this is a kind of a Frankenstein tool and it's strong too, like Frankenstein. <laughs> so yeah, I like that. Uh, what I got here. This is the six in one Klein and these are amazing. They cut well, they're spring loaded. I just can't say enough about these. I really like them. Uh, they're small, I, you know guys, I have a medium sized hand so they fit very comfortable for me. And I don't have any gripes about these, except the big brother. <laughs> the big brother, I got a few issues with him. The seven in one. Here's some more uh, files that I use for bringing things back to life, different burners or whatever. And so it's got some nice little pockets that just fit that perfectly. All right, let's keep going. These are commercially electric. And um, although these are bigger tools, these are pretty good. They got, they're very sharp. And, uh, you know, I do brag on these because they work and uh, I've used them. And uh, I don't have anything bad to say about them. Same here with these electrical shears. These are very sharp, commercial electric, work very well. They got some slots there that you can slide some uh, uh, wire through, cut really quick. Hey, and here, this is a Klein, and this is gonna be like a, a rip saw, ouch, a rip saw or a, um, a drywall saw. Jab saw, you know, it's got a bunch of names. But uh, I like this because it folds. And if this didn't fold, it would tear up. Now, this is plastic back here. But because these pockets are kind of big, if I put this in here, it would still roll around and cut cut my bag. So I like that I, this is uh, foldable. And if you can see in there, you can switch these blades out at some point. You see that star? screw in there so at some point i don't i've never tried to replace a blade but i'm guessing you can you guys can let me know in the comments if that's even possible here we have uh 
Milwaukee Fuel. This is a uh, very nice compact uh, drill, but not not a drill. But uh, what do you call these? Um, oh goodness, um, not a con, not a compact, but a uh, and this is brushless. This is a fuel. There's your light, and uh, this one's pretty good. It's very powerful, and you know with their um, with your battery in the handle, it's a little thicker or a little, a little beefier. And so I like the handles on the bottom uh, because they're more comfortable. But this fits much better in this bag. And uh, this here goes to that. And so I just took it off and put it on here. Um, so, yeah, compact or impact. I kept saying compact. Look at me forgetting impact driver this is an amazing impact driver i love it put that there and then uh let's see let's just take this out this little guy i did a little video on him keep this in your shirt a little precision screwdriver and so it's got a little sleeve on here so it doesn't tear up your pocket when you put it in uh, that doesn't go there, so I don't know how that got there. Here is a crescent wrench. I love these handles. So you can go all the way down to the bottom and get a good, it's a good torque on this. And um, yeah, really nice. I love these. And so I, I can't go back to uh, crescent wrenches without any type of uh, rubber handle on it. That's just me. Prima Donna. Call me Prima Donna if you want. Here's a nice little uh, anvil um, scraper with your paint roller squeegee. Yeah, a little side here so you can get into your paint cans. It's cool. Just keep that around. Here's a meter. You guys seen that. I just threw that over here. Um... It does. I don't use it much every now and then. Uh, okay, let's go back down here. Here is some plastic wood. Sometimes I'll use this if I'm if I have to make some new holes. I'll patch up the old holes with this, and just sand it down a little bit. Yeah, plug some holes. And then here uh, is this Pittsburgh. Gosh, you always have one of these so you don't lose your screws, man. If you lose a screw to something, I don't know how many times. I can see it happen too many times, but I keep a bunch of screws. But the screw you lose is the one screw you don't have. And so that's why I keep these around and put my hardware in here so I don't lose any screws. Uh, let me hear your little, little pry bars, little plastic pry bars so you don't mess up too much. Here's another little Harbor Freight lamp. Pretty cool. See how bright that is? That's pretty cool. And this was only a dollar. And sometimes they give them away free, Harbor Freight. And you know, it's plastic. You drop it, it's going to break. Uh, but for a dollar or for free, you can't complain. I don't. Just go get another one. <laughs> here, let's see down in here. We got a. Klein stubby that is it will come out which is cool see that and then it's got uh, little bits and handles it's a cool little stubby yeah I like that retract back mm-hmm and here we got some uh, precision and these are all and these are flippable so I got uh, Phillips, slotted, Torx, pretty handy. Same thing, pry bar, plastic. And then here we got some, uh, let's see, Tecton. Yeah, these are some Tecton hooks. I like these hooks. They're very sharp. You have to be very, very careful with these because I've gotten stuck with these a couple times. And, uh, got some gnarling down here, you know, to give you, Give you some purchase if you're trying to twist something or 
whatever you're trying to do. Those are nice. I had those for a while too. Again, precisions, all different kinds. Let's see what we got here. It's a nice little magnet where, you know, you can telescopic this out and then you can turn it to give you some, uh, give you a light. Look at that. So if you're trying to get down in something, you know what you're, what you're trying to get. So I like that. But sometimes, you know, you drop a screw in somewhere dark, you know, got a little light to help you out there. And then going back across, a little punch down tool. Love the color on this. It's very strong, very, I like this. Use this, you know, you just, you're gonna have to, this doesn't have, this is not spring loaded. So you have to tap on the end of that for that. And then here, a little extended. It. It's got a sleeve on here just to keep your screw steady. If you want to, you know, if you're overhead or something, keep your screw. Got a nice little sleeve in there to keep your screw steel. Here's some masonry bits. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's got a little diamond coating on the ends of those. I got these from Harbor Freight, so hey, you're going to tear them up anyway. And then uh, you can kind of resharpen these. I've not used them. I just keep them just in case I got to go in some brick or some cement. These are different sizes. See how that's got a little diamond powdered on there. So, hmm, are they strong? I don't know. And then down here, let's see. Oh, that's nothing. That's it, guys. And then I got... A uh, little brick to charge, whatever I need to charge. And so, fellas, I really appreciate you hanging out. I really appreciate you watching this video. Um, I know it was winded, but um, I want to thank you again. Please uh, comment, subscribe, um, and remember, guys, to give me a thumbs up.